Okay, in this video, I'm going to continue on with exercise 4A of the book Fundamental Applied Mathematics. We're on page number 99, and the question I'm going to do is number 12. It reads, a ship P is 3.4 kilometers due west of another ship Q. P is moving with speed 5 root 2 meters per second in a northeasterly direction. Q can travel at 13 meters per second. If they are on a collision course, find the velocity of Q in terms of I hat and J hat. When will the collision occur? To be honest, this is a carbon copy of question 11, so for that reason, I'm going to push along pretty quickly. So I'll just draw the x-axis in this case, and I'm going to say this here is P, and this here is Q. And we're told that P is going at a direction that will give it 45 degrees, because it's moving in a northeasterly direction. And its magnitude was 5 root 2. And we're told that Q we're not told its angle, so I'm going to call it theta, and it is moving at 13 meters per second, or 13 uh, units, we'll say. So what we know is that VP is equal to, and we can just resolve this, okay, so we get V, that's P sub X, and V P sub Y here like that, so it's going to be 5 root 2 cos 45 I hat plus 5 root 2 sine 45 j hat. The cos and sine of 45 are root 2, so you get vp is equal to 5i hat plus 5j hat equals uh, vp sub x uh, plus vp sub y. Alright, 5i hat plus 5j hat. So that's that's pretty straightforward, and we'll do the, a similar thing for v, vq. However, of course, we don't know the angle at which VQ is, 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 uh, is projected, so we're going to get VQ is equal to negative 13 times the cos of theta i hat plus 13 times the sine of theta j, like so. So we need to get the vector VPQ. This is the velocity of P relative to Q, or if you want to hold Q stationary, it's what P is doing. So you just do this nice and carefully, and you're going to get 5 times, or 5 plus 13 cos theta i plus 5 minus 13 sine of theta j. Now, if they're, they are to be on a collision course, then their speeds, or excuse me, their velocities in the j hat unit vector direction must be equal. Why is that? But if you move back up here, They've started on the same height along the y-axis, or yeah, along the y. So if they collide, well, they must have the same height again. And if one had a different speed in the j hat unit vector direction, well, then it it would pass the other uh, the other particle out, and they wouldn't collide. So the only way you can have them collide is if v p q sub y, or in the j hat unit vector direction, is equal to zero. All right, we did that in depth in question eleven. So we can say this is equal to zero, and we can guess that sine of theta uh, is equal to 5 over 13. You can say cosine of theta is equal to 12 over 13. Just use a bit of Pythagoras as normal here. All right, so we have 13, 12, and 5. All right, so that's nothing we haven't done before. So we need next to... Uh, to work out what VPQ is by plugging in those values. So let's plug them in. So this of course is equal to zero, so we can get rid of that. So it's equal to 5 plus 13 times the cos of, which is 12 over 13. So that becomes 17 i hat plus 0 j. Like so. That's correct. And we need to get the time. Now, what's the magnitude of VPQ? Well, if you, if you work it out here, it's going to be the square root of this squared plus this squared. And that's just going to be 17 either way. All right, so the magnitude of VPQ is equal to 17. So we just need to get how long will it take for VPQ to cover a distance of, a distance of 3.4 kilometers. So it's distance, speed, time. So 3 for 3,400, or that many meters, we'll say, is equal to the speed, which I said was 17, times the time, 
the time, therefore, is equal to 13, sorry, excuse me, not 13, 3400 over 17 is equal to 200 seconds. Alright, that was pretty straightforward. Carbon copy, like I said, of question, uh, question 11. By the way, I noticed I never changed this up here, but we're doing question 12. So, thanks for watching, pass it on to your friends, and subscribe to my channel.